this will be a very brief table capture demo. So to get started, if you want to bulk select items, you can click the extension pop-up, and it'll show you all of the tables that it recognizes on the tape on the uh, page. And if you hover over, the extension will scroll to those. Uh, on the right here, you have all the different actions you can perform. Hovering over these icons will give you a little tooltip tool tip up here. Uh, and for the most part, it's pretty obvious. You have Excel, CSV, screenshotting a table, copying it to the clipboard, and then also extracting data to Google Sheets. So if I were to pick this um, table here with all these basketball players, I can click this Google Sheets button. Google Sheets will load, and in a second, I'll get a notification telling me to paste the data. OK. So if I paste it in, there it is, all the data. Now, one thing you might not might have noticed is that this table has some links, but this data does not have those URLs. What I can do is I can go to Options, and I can turn on this setting here, Extract Link URLs from Table Cells, and Save. And then if I refresh the page and do this again, you'll now see that the data that comes out will have the URLs. There they are. Cool. One other thing you can do, which I really enjoy, is you can highlight some text and then click the extension button. This will load the table capture workshop on the bottom half of the page. Here you get a better preview of the data. You can even go full screen and see almost all of it. You still have all the same actions that you normally perform. We do render some of the settings that we're using. So here you can see that um, web addresses are being extracted. Uh, and then there are also some options for handling page tables and dynamic tables, which I'll show you shortly. So dynamic tables are tables that uh, are constantly changing. So you might have a table that is uh, loading new rows as you scroll. Uh, and the way these tables work typically is certain rows get added uh, when they go off the screen and new rows, I'm sorry, rows get removed when they go off the screen and rows get added when uh, you scroll. So with the table capture workshop, you can select your table. You can see that it's copied or it's uh, extracted these two rows. You can turn on dynamic tables, which will start listening to changes within this table. And then when you click Begin Table Growth, Table Capture will mirror all of the changes and extract all of the data changes from this table. So this table is growing, and we, we are dynamically capturing all this data. And once we're finished getting all this data, uh, you can extract to Google Sheets or to Excel, whatever you're interested in. So here we have the 19 rows that um, we had extracted. But if you notice, there are only uh, about seven rows that are visible on the page. So the rows that had previously been displayed and that are no longer displayed are still captured. Pretty neat stuff. And for the most part, that covers table capture. Thank you.